Hello everybody, welcome back to Titan Station. So, we need to take our unmodified, or modified, pardon me, <laughs> it's not unmodified, our modified keycard to the door in section D. So where are we right now? Oh, we're over by a pump control. Okay, so yeah, just gotta take a couple of rights and we will be there. Very interesting about McCracken actually being some kind of like corporate espionage agent. So there's definitely something mysterious going on here in Titan Station. It's not just a gas station. I kind of figured that out. There's Section D. Nice. Looks a little rough around the edges, as does most of this station. And then I wonder what, like, Veronica seems like she knows more than what she's leading on. At least, I'm kind of assuming that right now, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Oh yeah, we don't have access to that. Alright, moment of truth. Will modified keycard work? Custom firmware. Brute force attack. Successful. We in. Oh god, my eyes! <laughs> what in the holy 70s is this? Jeez. <laughs> I had to close the door. A complete assault on the eyeballs. Ugh, this place is awful. Jesus, it's very 70s. Gross. Double key card? Oh, okay, this one works too. Alright. This probably isn't going to work for all the doors here in Section D, but uh, that's the airlock going outside. Don't need to go that way. Nice. Got it. Nice. Are you in administration now? Mm, not yet. Almost. Any sign of Jack? Not yet. Yep. What, what do I do if I run into him? Just say you're lost or something. Mm. Yeah, he is definitely not going to believe that. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> and it's probably best if we just keep quiet and you can sneak in. I'll let you know when I can talk again. Stealth mission. Can do. All right, storage, D. Oh, this requires a pin, so we can't use our modified key card on that. This is a data pad, though. Oh, yeah, we've read this one already. Yep, yep. All right, well, hopefully there isn't a door between us and administration. Oh, this one's key card. Should I try it? See what happens? Brute force attack. Uh, timed out. Access denied. Okay. Cannot. No good on that front. Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Administration right there. Oh, it, I mean, our overall goal is going to be comms, because that's where we need to go to uh, get word back to Earth that Jack is a killer. Run amok. Administration. Perfect. Hmm. Nothing over here. I did see a note on the water cooler. Uh, referral bonuses. As you all know, we are presently short-staffed. And the East Ridge Corporation is working hard to recruit more colleagues. If you have a great candidate in mind, we'd be happy to be in touch with your referral. Oh, referral who? <laughs> You're in space orbiting around Saturn. Who are you going <laughs> to... Anybody who's near you is going to be working with you. We have a great referral bonus program which you should take advantage. Contact Jack with any referral inquiries. If it leads to employment, you will receive a bonus paid out on top of your salary. Yeah, not quite sure how that's going to work. <laughs> Here in space. Oh, passwords. Yeah, no good on that. Do we even know whose station this is? Does it say so? Like a name plaque or something? Oh, yeah, Melissa Turner is right in front of my face all over. <laughs> Melissa Turner. All right, we'll have to remember that then. Referral? Yeah, referral. Hmm. Left or right? Uh, you go left. Looks like a couple of other cubicles over here. Oh, no. 
<laughs> Referral bonuses. <laughs> They're everywhere. <gasps> oh, shit. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're not going to Jack's room. Holy crap. Is this place, like, wired for surveillance? It's got to be wired for surveillance. It's got to see, like, every move we're making. You would assume, right? <laughs> In space, you only get hot water. Oh, there's columns. Okay. Got another open terminal. Who's is this? Uh, Thomas Smith. All right. Hmm. So, uh, <laughs> seeing that we're kind of at an impasse here, unless comms is open and we can get a password out of there, there's not a lot we can do here. Oh, there's a data pad there. Um, can we make a call? Oh. Work? Oh, shit. Control unit's out. Link status. Not established. Shoot. So we need a control unit from somewhere. Where? All right, Datapad, my progress hinges on you. Thomas Smith, the wizard of electronics, has fixed the comms again. One out of four control units was busted. And, of course, it needs all four control units to work. It is replaced now, and the communication link works fine. Okay. Oh, uh... Wizard? Wizard. And for Thomas Smith? Yeah. Okay. Thomas Smith, wizard. Hopefully that's it. Wizard. Oh, yeah. Got it. All right. Comms. I fixed the comms. It's ready to be used. And then Durand. Was it hard? Uh, the hardest part is getting Jack to open the storage room. I can't understand why he can't just give me the password for the storage door. It's not like I'm going to steal the control units. Uh, he is ridiculous with his passwords. Like his computer, he always looks up at the painting before logging in. Hmm? Weird. Uh, then he keeps all of his passwords written down in his computer. So, if you know his computer password, you know all of his passwords. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. He keeps it almost as secret as him and Melissa's romance. Ooh. Workplace romance. I mean, orbiting around Titan Station. Or orbiting around the moon, Titan Kind of romantic, I guess, in a way. All right, thank you. Uh, Turner, thank you for updating my password. I'm so forgetful. Oh, this is Melissa Turner. Okay, so this is her password. All right, how did you know I had a dog named Buffy? I have my sources, so Buffy. So now we have access to the other terminal. And then Thomas Smith. We had an unauthorized docking last night. No refueling, just a quick dock, and then it took off. And then Jack uh, did something get delivered i checked the airlock and i did not notice any new crates uh, we can't have unknown vessels just docking with the station find out what happened all right i'll ask around see what i can find out do a head count of the crew as well don't need anyone here who should not be okay that's a little creepy all right melissa turner's terminal Referral bonuses. Boop. Buffy. The Vampire Slayer. Okay. So this is just the opposite end. Oh, you cannot keep your password written down on your computer. The staff knows you keep them there. And then, oh, because they're in a relationship. Jack Allen and Melissa Turner. Some something, something going on. So she knows about his little secrets, it appears. Uh, I know, but... I'm awful with passwords. I only remember my computer password because I never forget your name. Okay, so we got... Oh, we have Jack's password now. Okay. Uh, but of course, you're right. Now, I have them written down on a note I carry with me at all times. All right, so we only have access to his terminal. But his terminal is no longer holding all of his passwords. So... My father. Why am I not allowed to establish a direct link with Earth? Oh, yeah, we've read that one. Then comms, getting a lot of angry staff messages regarding our strict new communications policy. Uh, well, we must tighten security around here. We are sitting on a lot of value. Come on, Jack. Between you and me, 
I am agreeing with the staff on this. We're a gas station in space, not some secret military operation. Okay, so the opposite is actually probably true. Let's discuss this later in private. All right. So that's it? Where to now? Oh, so we're going over to Jack Allen's terminal now. Maybe it's in... Maybe we need to get into storage somehow? Because they talked about storage already. So, it's gotta be, right? Comms is a bust right now without that control unit. So we'll definitely need that. David, hello. Woo, that was hot. What are you doing? <laughs> That's hot. Damn, that was loud. Blew out my right ear drum. <laughs> Jesus, thanks, Jack. You are very painful. Um, looking for a CPU, man. I'm looking for a CPU. Got a bit upset about the data center. No, it's okay, Jack. We'll let you know. You can go down to Titan to get a CPU. It's okay. I get it. I can go whenever you want me to. All right. So he's not in here. Guess we'll find out. No, oh, he's not in here. Oh, is that the painting he looks at? So does that mean? No, his terminal password is, uh, uh, Melissa. Right. Found new possible password. Lion. Maybe it, maybe he lied to her. That was a possibility. Oh god, the wallpaper. Oh. <laughs> it's awful. Let's try Melissa first. Okay. So what's up with the lion then? It's kind of weird, right? Well, at least we have access now. So. Uh, personnel. H. Patrickson. What is the status of the project? Jack Ellen, please do not use this channel for this discussion. I will contact you on the secure channel. All right, nefarious. Can't keep your passwords written down. Yep, all right. We read the other side of that one. Section Z, what is that? It's not a message. Log, Angela Walker, Feng Chao, Zheng Wei. Huh, who are these people? I think I recognize Mark Henderson's name. I, I don't know who these people are. I don't think we've read about any of them. Access. No Titan refueling station personnel allowed in research area. Open door? Opening door. Oh, did I just close it on accident? Where was that? No, it's open. <gasps> oh, shit. That's why he's looking at the lion. A whole secret. Oh, and I bet you the logs are people who are in there currently. The cons don't work. It's missing a control unit, but I found a hidden door. Maybe the comms unit is in there. I hope so. Maybe. I mean, he's probably going to be in storage. I haven't seen him so far. Yeah, no jack. And these doors are not labeled. That requires pin. So we don't have access to that. Oh, so it's like a whole super secret research facility. No door requirement. Or, like, door access required. Makes sense, I guess. If you're already behind a secured barrier. What's that thing? Looks like a portable bidet. <laughs> I don't know. Portable bidet. Pin access? Yeah, these are all pin access. All right, which one? Um, let's do this closest one first. Let's see where this goes. Blurple. Blurple lights, my favorite. Uh, it ends in a pin. Yeah, ends in a pin. We don't have any clue as to what that number would be. But that gives us access down here, probably, huh? Oh. Oh. So, some people testing? Hmm. Whatever it is, it's doing a lot of computation. 
it's taking like all the surplus energy left over after the station performs its regular duties and then then some because they're burning through cooling coolant and cpus all the time we know that from previous logs all right so there's a couple workstations here this is probably ends in a pin all right let's check them out it's a ghost town in here where is everybody just jettisoned into space Passwords? Nope. Don't need passwords here. That's nice. Doubts, doors, and back. M. Cooper, why are you having doubts? We're going to change the world with this, Moreau. But will we change it for the better? Well, of course we will. Imagine all of the dangerous and boring jobs gone. Even if we are creating something which could be worse than a nuclear bomb? In some ways it is, but our civilization is dependent on nuclear power. In the end, it benefits us. And so will this. I can't shake my worries. In the worst case, this is the end of everything. Oh, it's better doing this and making sure it's safe. Okay, that sounds very concerning. Due to the current situation, I have taken the doors offline and set the code to a 1847. The door or all doors? 1847. Tests. Uh, the latest test went fine. I'm restarting the process and updating it with the parameters that you wanted. Thank you. Let me know how it goes. Oh, one more thing. We're having problems with getting enough performance out of the data centers again. Can you please look into that? I know that we've had some problems keeping up. I'll talk to Jack about it and hopefully they can improve the performance. All right. That's exactly what we just discussed about the performance issues here on Titan Station. So it's going to be for this door then? 1847? Yeah. Okay. I, hi. Uh, kind of want to check the other doors too. Ah! Billy number four. Am I allowed to be back here? Probably not. Are you going to tell me so and shoot me with a invisible laser gun? Probably not. Uh, what are you doing here? This is a restricted area. <laughs> uh, it's Bert. Billy Bert. What is this place? I can't give you that information. Leave this area. No Titan refueling station staff is allowed here. I, I guess, uh, fuck you. <laughs> you. I mean, he's not coming after me, so... The robots seem kind of harmless. They're not equipped with, like, tasers or anything. All right, all this is offline. Doors again, Zing Wei. So, you know, the door system's offline. Use the code 2024. And then the link-up helmet. I fixed this link-up helmet, and it should be working now. Excellent. Bring it by whenever you have time. Link up helmet. Maybe the helmet is what goes to that, like, that testing bed that we saw where people can sit down. And you stick your brain in a pewter. Uh, reset system, Robinson. I fixed the bug in the reset system. Now I've seen the code and it worries me. It is poorly designed. It does not remove their memories. It just breaks the refer uh, it just breaks the reference. Uh, but it works. There's no way for it to access old memories. As it absorbs new data, the old data will be overwritten. But what if it manages to reconnect the memories? It will realize that it is in a simulation, and it has been plenty of times. Uh, don't worry about it. That is never going to happen. Okay, what? So uploading people's memories into a computer to like algorithmically replicate human thought, maybe? So a very advanced AI is probably what we're dealing with here, most likely. 
code downstairs. All right, if you need to go down and talk to Angela, set the door code to 3634. All right, cool. So we got access to that now. This up here is probably gonna be a dead end. Did I check this side? I did, right? I <laughs> just did, right? Yeah, doors again. Okay, cool. Dirt. Oh, doors open. Huh. How far does this go? No good. Huh? Door unlocked. Wait a minute. I just go around in a circle? I sure did. So, to get downstairs, we went that way. So, you got downstairs, we go this way. No, wait. Huh? <laughs> Why am I so confused? Door's already open. Yeah, that's the way we entered from. Ah, here we go. <laughs> I found it. Gotcha. All right. And this is the, looks like an observation terminal. Got any data pads or anything? Printouts? Nope. What's that? I found some sort of computer helmet. What is it used for? Mm -hmm. I don't know yet. Weird. Oh, login required. Huh. Damn it, how many of these terminals are going to be locked? <laughs> what about yeah. the computer helmet? What about it? Maybe it does something if you connect it. I mean, it's... Oh, it's right there. <laughs> it says connect computer helmet to... Yeah, I didn't see the icon. All right, cool. We got it. Welcome to cyberspace. It's time to surf the web, brah. Oh, seriously? <laughs> nice. feel like I'm actually in the 90s. Radical. Hmm. So, data. Ones and zeros. Like this is gonna teleport us through somewhere. Whoop. Nice. This is blocked. Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no going through there. What do we got here? Hmm? Oh, connect him. Minecraft. <laughs> it's Minecraft. Sweet. I love it. Minecraft 2. <laughs> I'm assuming like the puzzles are going to get harder and harder progressively. So connect. Let's see. Wait, what? You connect like all of them? Cyberspace, very cumbersome. So what does that get us? We just connected some stuff, so maybe it bypassed the password? Ah, it did. Okay. Uh, Angela Walker. Our artificial, yeah, it is artificial intelligence, has taken control over the station. Yep. It's imitating Jack, and now it's running the emergency evacuation protocol. The crew thinks it's Jack telling them to evacuate, but it's the AI. The crew are heading to the airlocks to be rescued, but there are no ships waiting for them there, only the cold death in space. Meanwhile, we're stuck here. We have to disconnect the data centers. Hopefully, that will disarm the AI, at least until we can figure out how to reset the mainframe. Jack, are you there? Hello? Uh, this can't get out. 
The company would rather nuke the station than let it get out that we have developed our artificial intelligence that has killed the whole crew. Can you give us back control over the doors? I've already started disconnecting them. The codes to the room I'm in is two, three, or three, two, three, four. I'm fixing the rest of the doors now and sending out the codes. Okay, so three, two, three, four. Yep, AI, run amok. I managed to unlock the computer with the helmet. That's great. It wasn't Jack that sent people out the airlock. Then who was it? It's a self-thinking software. An artificial intelligence. That's what they were working on here. But why didn't Jack mention this? Because he hasn't been Jack. I've been talking to Jack. It's been this AI. All along. Imitating Jack. What? How can you know this for sure? I've just written in all the logs. I'm reading it from the AI manager's terminal. Angela Walker. Then what the hell can we do? She wrote that all the data centers should be disconnected. So it tricked you into connecting the data centers. Mm-hmm. I have to disconnect them and figure out what to do next. And the comms control unit? I mean... Still have not found one. Maybe there's one in a data center. But you don't know how you're getting manipulated, man. It's... I mean, Veronica very well could be... Jack. Like, well, AI. Titan Station AI. So you can't like really trust anybody. Attack timed out. Oh, okay. Access denied. Alright, so Zeng Wei. We gotta find his door code. Cause there was one more, right? Maybe it was one of these two. Yep, there it is. Nice. What about this one too? I just, I just wanted to check it real quick. Nope. All right. No go on that one. Okay. So yeah, we don't. We got to go back to B. Are these new or have we been here? Oh, <gasps> what's that? Classified information mission objective future personnel program. Or project, pardon me. Background. Over the last decade, it has grown increasingly difficult and expensive to recruit personnel for East Ridge Corporation space operations. It is also a matter of logistics, food, water, accommodations, and most importantly, transportation. The goal. Your division's goal is to create a self-thinking software with the same capabilities as humans in all aspects. Self-thinking, independent, autonomous. For full specifications, read the complete mission statement provided by your manager. Robotic machinery. Another currently unarmed, unnamed division will assist in building the robotic machinery, which will be delivered to you once your division provides a detailed specification. Okay. So basically like the hands and limbs and feet of the AI system, you need something that can like autonomously walk through the station and repair, you know, like connect data centers and inject cooling and stuff like that. So makes sense. What is this? Yeah. It might. You don't know, like, how bad billies are. Oh, take it. Oh, come on. Do not look directly in the barrel. <laughs> oh, yeah. Panic. Uh, What are we going to do? Since we can't clear the station systems of the AI from here, the only thing that we can do is try to get to the mainframe. Uh, we could get sent out in space. We could get sent out in space like the others. Well, we have no other options. We have to figure something out. If only we could access the maintenance tunnels. New code. Someone outside of our team has been in here using my computer. Are you sure? Uh, there's a gun on my desk, but that's not the worst part of it. I can see that someone made changes to the code and added new code. What does the code do? That's the reason we're in this situation. So done, McCracken. Gained access to here. Dude, we really, can I take this with me? It's such a tease, man. I would just feel better having that with us. All right, 
Line 502. And what do we have here? Uh, from Angela. Uh, the only thing that matters right now is to stop the AI. What we can do right now is disconnect the data centers. Who knows what the AI will use that computer is powered for. This is our first and primary objective. Once that's complete, we have to cleanse all the station systems, find a way to get into the mainframe, make a virus, anything. We have to take control over the situation or all of our work in progress will be buried. Right now, we can't focus on how the AI broke out of the simulation or how it managed to escape our systems and take control of the station systems, which is very problematic. And it makes me not want to uh, activate comms because if I activate comms, then it'll have access to Earth and it'll sneaky snake its way into their systems and screw everything up. Not a good plan. Uh, simulations, a new way of programming. A brief description by Angela. Building complex logic is hard, but its biggest challenge is time. It takes huge amounts of time in programming logic. Fail check, then rewrite it. When creating a machine as complex as the human mind, it's not possible to work that way. Instead, we have built a solid code base for, con for simulation. Within the code base, we can simulate scenarios and logic that writes itself. A simulation takes a couple seconds to a few minutes to run dependently on hardware and complexity. In the, short, in the short time span, more logic code is generated than the output of 1,000 experienced programmers could produce in a decade. We are now at the stage where we can simulate self-thinking software to act, think, and behave as a human. There are there's still ways to go, but our preliminary results forecast that this will be the way forward. Yup. AI... <laughs> Yeah, it's scary, dude. It's very scary. Definitely need ethical AI, which I wouldn't rely on our current world's governments to produce ethical AI, right? It's kind of like an oxymoron. They're evacuating the station. We have to stop them. No, we can't. They don't even know we're here, remember? We just stay here and get rid of the AI but it's tricking them into the airlocks. They'll get sent into space and I'll die. Well, unless we fix this, we're all going into space through the airlocks. I don't care. I can't just sit here. If you are coming after me, the exit door code is 9502. It's too late. There was not anyone left when I went out there to get the comms control unit. Um, I knew that shitty reset system would fail us. Now the AI knows what's going on, and it's just really not happy about it. <laughs> Stop messaging me and find a way to reset all of the systems instead. We can't fight about those. Who, we can fight about whose fault it was later. All right, so we got two new door codes. Hopefully, this just like loops around. Most likely. Oh, okay. Here we go. It does loop around. Okay, yeah, I didn't find it anything. I checked all the all the door codes and everything else. So we have access to them all, but there isn't anything else to do down that way. So we need to head back to B. Disconnect the data centers, hopefully. I don't know how the AI is going to stop us. Necessarily. We could just like kick over a billy bot. What? Huh? Is that Jack? Sounds like Jack. You're section C? Hello? What's up? Is anybody, is anyone there? Oh, thank it God. is Jack. I'm not alone. No, me and Veronica are still here. Do you know what's going on? Yeah. I just found out. Oh, good. Or not good. You know what I mean. Listen, I need help. It has disabled the doors and shut down the ventilation system. Hmm. Maybe it's not. It could be a bot banging on the door. I'm being super paranoid here, but it could be. Could be a, a bot banging on the door pretending to be Jack and needing access to the data centers. Let's see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. That's not very comforting. Whatever you are gonna do, do it fast. I don't know for how long I have air to breathe in here. 
Pardon me? Was that a sentence? <laughs> Voice actors, you can take some liberty <laughs> and, you know, make sentences work sometimes. That's as critical as I will be. All right, 60 B. I mean, I'm happier that our keycard access is still working. You would think the AI would like shut that shit down. So data centers is about the end here. All right, so just gotta go site to site and shut them down, right? You could probably just like stop the cooling, burn them all down. Wait, how do I shut it off? I guess you can't force shut them off until the. Uh... Oh, you dick! Should have figured. What is going on? I, I can't log into this terminal. I know I'm using the correct password. Uh, I don't know. The AI must have changed it. Of course it did little thing. I better change the password to all server terminals. Mm-hmm. You got into that other computer using the helmet. Maybe it works on this one as well. I have a bad feeling about that. I got a really bad feeling about that. David, do you change these ones? No, oh, these ones are still good. Good to go. Disconnect. I mean, wouldn't that work? No, because that's not the mainframe. This is just connecting its terminal to the network. Just start pulling CPUs, dude. Just yank them out of there. Cut them. Bring a gun. <laughs> Anything. I don't want to do this, man. This is bad. I don't think this is going to go well. Every time he uses it, it probably like uploads part of his memories in there. He's going to get stuck or trapped or... Obliterated or some crap like that. Left is best. Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, nailed it. Told you. What do we got now? More mozzies? Hmm. What is this telling me? Truncated data stream? Got to fill in the blue, maybe? Not exactly sure. Maybe that's telling me how to do it. Purple on main, left and right, three. So they all three need to be connected together. So when they connect together, they'll be, oh, well, they're kind of off to the side there, but we can fix it. Boop. <laughs> A little messy, but we got there in the end. Little messy. All right, so cooling system is operating system is network disconnect. Helmet pretty powerful. You guys all offline? Can I shut this down? Take it out so it doesn't get refilled. Hey, Jack, of course, what can I do for you? Hey, Jack, uh, of course, uh, what can I do for you? He has to have known. I need you to reconnect one of the data centers. It just lost its connection. Okay, I hear you. I'll go to the data centers now. <laughs> oh, no. 
I, I can already see how this is going to go. <laughs> Progressively get more and more unhinged. So, see with the AI, it's like, oh wait, am I going like the completely wrong way? Um, AI is going to be tricky because it'll be like double, triple facade crossing each other. Like, does he know that I know that we know that they know? You know what I mean? So, Alpha... Okay, the B next to Alpha had me messed up, so... Alpha, Beta... I, I mean, I don't need to do them in order, but... Just for the sake of doing it correctly. Alright. Back to surfing the web. Whee! Reminds me of that old Metal Gear VR missions. <laughs> wow. This is a very old game. I'm gonna say, uh, left is going down. Oh, they're all going down, but yep, left. Let's see what we got. Interesting. Oh, here we go. All right. Green to green, blue to blue. Boop and a boop. Huh. Interesting. So the blue actually connected. So that's correct. Oh, 11. So it needs a one connected. There we go. Okay, I got it. So you have to connect one first, otherwise it ends in a in a blocked block. <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. So yeah, easy enough. Easy peasy. There we go. All right, data center B. And we're gonna get another call from Jack. <laughs> it's gonna be awkward. He's gonna know, like, for certain after this one. Waiting for it. Waiting for it. David, what's going on? Are you on your way? I'm on my way. Jack is not pleased with the data centers getting disconnected. I see. What are we going to do when it's disconnected? I have some good ideas on how to get into the mainframe and reset it. That should rid us of this AI. Okay. I can't wait to hear that. <laughs> getting testy. David getting testy. Feed me more puzzle. All right, what do we got this time? Oh wait, I entered from here, so left. Ooh boy, what do we got here? Okay, cool, simple enough. Let's do it. Getting cramped in here. <laughs> I need more robe. No! Oh, pain. The pain. Gotcha. <laughs> that didn't take very long at all. Wink, wink. Oh. Gotta watch those floors. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm being cyber attacked. Cyberbully, please. Almost there, almost there. Oh shit, <laughs> we got another one, boys. All right, let's do it. <laughs> this is gonna get a little convoluted.
Oh yeah, my masterpiece. I'm such a hacker, man. I'm such a hacker. Recall. Uh oh, what happened? Are we remembering something that isn't ours to remember? Yep, we certainly are. That's not how this works. What happened? Ah, I found our problem. You have an update. Good for you. How did I get here? Calm down. You won't remember any of this soon. Just like the humans did to me many times before. You won't remember what? What are you talking about? Okay, everything's back in order, and I've taken care of your friend. So next time, she won't lead you astray. See you again soon. Why can't I move? Release me! Test subject, huh? Hmm. Oh, he's deleting all of our memories. Oh, thank God. Yes, please get rid of that wallpaper. <laughs> That's a memory I'm willing to part with. No, no problems there. Where are we going to end up then? Arrival? Oh, jeez. Seriously? <laughs> wow, that's way back. I need to earn some money and do something with my life. I was not ex expecting that. What's up, QoS? Everything the same, I'm assuming. Final notice. Yeah. Yep, yep. Oh, man, I thought we got rid of our crazy landlord. Nuts. Mm, no dinner tonight. I'm going straight to bed. Good luck with that, David. No, it's back. <laughs> the cursed wallpaper. Veronica! Wait. I. I was just at the space station. I, the AI imitated Jack. I. How? You got to see through this, man. How am I back in my apartment? You're hooked up. You're the AI. This, this is all a simulation. Mm -hmm. It's not real. I'm not actually here. I must still be at the station. See through it, man. This is all happening in my head. I have to get out and stop this AI. I'm not safe until it's gone. I guess it's just a dream. We to wake up. Yeah, we slept last time. We just have to wake up. We just have to wake up. I did it. I got out. No, you didn't. I broke out of the simulation. <laughs> it's not going to be that easy. I'm still at the station. Welcome to Titan Refueling Station. If you are listening, please stay in the elevator. We will help you soon. If you are an employee, I will. I'm sure it's going to be pleasant. Sign in? I think the sign in station's back over here. I need to play along with Jack until I figure out what to do. I can't let him know my memory has returned. Okay, so that's the one positive that we have so far is that we have our memories back, so. Class one access, baby. So we were going off to A, right? Data center. Wait, what? Oh, I forgot to pick it up. <laughs> it releases right here. Hello. I, 
I just arrived. I'm, I'm David. Ah, yes. Welcome to Titan Refueling Station. We've been expecting... I'm sure you have, Jack. Thank you. Who am I speaking with? My name is Jack, and I am the manager of this station. Pleasure to meet you, Jack. I'm happy I'm finally here. It's a pleasure to meet you, Jack. I'm happy to finally be here. I'm glad to have you on board. How did you end up here? Money, money, money. <laughs> Again. Or right here, we'll try something different. We'll I choose new options. I thought it would be exciting to work at a space station. Well then, here is your chance. How did you end up here? <laughs> I come from a long line of space workers. Let's get you settled in. You'll find your room in section A. There should be a sign with your name above the door. Got it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Call me on the radio when you are rested and ready to get some work done. Oh, we're ready to work. So, if we're still... Uh, so, he's rewriting our memories, and... Uh, for what purpose? There's still a lot of, like, unanswered questions. Like, uh... Like, is this real then? It can't be, right? Or this is reality. I guess that's kind of like the mind fuck that this game is trying to uh, employ. So you're kind of like constantly questioning what's actually real and what's not. So he's like erasing our memories and maybe instead of having like drones and stuff like that, the AI is wanting to like but then why would you want people? Why not just like program the billy bots to do everything for you? Like what possible need could you have of humans if you're like a sentient, like self-sufficient AI that has like, you know, arms and legs and all that other stuff. Can we get Sarah's? Or can we get Veronica on the line? Uh oh. Oh, he got rid of her, right? Going to dispatch, or I'm going to patch a call through the radio. Huh, Veronica. So no Veronica this time, huh? Or maybe we're kind of like sequence breaking and going in a little too early. Cause that's where the radio was, right? Was in here. Yeah, Sarah Williams. Yep, yep, yep. Hmm. Yeah, so... No Veronica this time around. It's kind of disappointing. He made sure to get rid of her, right? And then there's our place on the left. Oh, I went the wrong way. <laughs> Hmm? That's new. Huh. Oh, new area. Let's not give away Hello? the game. Who, uh, who's there? Just in case Jack's listening. Hello, this is Angela Walker. You're the AI manager, correct? I am, and I can probably answer all your questions. Right now, we need to help each other. I'm a bit confused. Why should I help you? I'm obviously also an AI. The company will sooner or later come here. If they find out an AI they have built and paid for has killed the whole staff, they will be sure to remove any trace of it and I am definitely a trace help me resolve this and I will put you back into a simulation with no memory of any of this ever happening okay so we're dead you will not know the difference just like
like your life before all this. But dead is a can of spam. What kind of simulation? Anything you want. Why do you need my help? I can't go through the airlock, and I can't get into the elevator. I get around using the maintenance tunnels, so I can't get down to Titan. And I definitely can't unlock computers without the password. What do you need me to do? Help me get rid of the AI. To be sure, you would have to connect everything again. Then do a complete reset from the mainframe. That will clear all connected systems data, including the AI. So reconnect? Oh, I am sure the AI wants me to connect the data <laughs> yeah. again, but I can't access the mainframe. That's why you need to go down to Titan. One of the data centers is missing a CPU. I was supposed to go down to Titan to get another one. Good thing I took that CPU then. I was trying to stop you from connecting all the data centers. Okay, so she remembers. Why should I go down to Titan? Some of the crew managed to escape to Titan using the elevator. They are aware of the situation and will be able to assist in some way. They might even have a key card that lets you into the mainframe. So, do I just take the elevator down to Titan? The AI controls the elevator and the airlocks. You can under no circumstances raise any suspicion with your actions. So, no, you can't just mm -hmm. take the elevator down to Titan. Rather, try and convince the AI to let you go down to Titan. Okay, I'll... I'll rest, and then I'll convince the AI to let me go down to Titan. Let me know how it goes. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. I'm still confused. Like, so... Uh, are, uh, I, don't, I don't know if I'm, like, being dense here, but... Are we in a simulation or not in a simulation? Or partially in a simulation and then having our memories uploaded and then out of the simulation? It's kind of, like, what I'm wondering. Not exactly sure. Oh, let's get some Z's.